Whether you are pregnant, postpartum, or just struggling with a tight, intense pelvic floor, I've got you covered in this five minute pelvic floor release routine. I'm Dr. Kylie, a pelvic floor physical therapist that specializes in prenatal and postpartum exercise. Let's get into it. Okay, I got my timer going. We're gonna start off laying on our back. So go ahead and get into that position now. And we're actually gonna start off with some activation. So you're gonna squeeze your legs together here. Now, just let them relax out to the side. Go ahead and squeeze again. Bring your knees together to touch. So you should be feeling your inner thighs start to work here. Keep squeezing, 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 and then go ahead and butterfly your legs open. And again, squeeze your knees together. Really engage those inner thighs. And then open the legs. And you might be wondering why we're doing some activation here. Why are we getting these muscles that we actually want to stretch to activate first? And there's this little thing called the contract relax stretch where after we contract those muscles, the thought is they're able to relax a little bit more after that. So that's why we're starting with this. One more time, squeeze and then go ahead and let it relax. I'm making sure you're breathing throughout this whole process. Now we're gonna go into a bridge. So you're gonna lift up and just hold. And now I want you to start to feel your glutes engage. Try to take it out of your low back. Maybe do a little bit of a posterior pelvic tuck and really try to feel it in your glutes. And then go ahead and lower back down. And we're gonna do that again. Go ahead and lift up. Push down with the heels to really feel it in the glutes and lower back down. Let's do that one more time. Go ahead and lift up and lower back down. Now let's bring, extend your left leg long, bring your right knee in towards your chest and just let your body get really heavy into your yoga mat, into the ground. So right now you should be feeling a stretch in your left hip flexor here, but also mainly your right hamstring, your right glute. And then go ahead and switch sides. Good, keep breathing. For me, I feel a little lot more on my left side versus my right side because I have a little bit of a pelvic imbalance going on where my left hamstring is a lot tighter than my right side, which can contribute to pelvic floor dysfunction. And that's why I like doing unilateral stretches. Good. And then go ahead and bring both knees into your chest. Take some nice deep belly breaths here, maybe rock side to side. Slow the breath down. Good. And now let's grasp the outside of your feet and come into a happy baby. Now what I want you to imagine on the inhale is your pelvic floor just lengthening down. So think of an elevator going down to the basement. Breathe into your low belly, breathe into your pelvic floor, direct the breath there. Expand on the inhale. Last breath. Good. And now let's roll over onto your side and we're gonna come into a tabletop position here and we're gonna do some cat cows. So you can go ahead and start that while I put my hair up. And we're gonna inhale to arch and then exhale round. <sighs> inhale arch and exhale round. And again, on your inhale, see if you can lengthen your pelvic floor. Imagine your tailbone here just being pushed back on the inhale. And I'm really trying to round for my pelvis as opposed to my upper back, my shoulders. 
one more like that. Now from here, just untuck your toes and sit your hips back. And we're gonna come into our child's pose and this is where we'll finish. I really want you to just let your body get super heavy here into the mat. Spread your knees out wide and track your ankles right over your knees. So my feet aren't touching, they're right in line with my knees. And I'm sitting my hips back. And if that means that you can only go up to here, that's fine, stay here. And when you're here, breathe into your tailbone again. Direct your breath there. Imagine your tailbone lengthening back on the inhale. But the reason I want your feet out wide is because now our hips are in a little more internal rotation. And when your hips are in internal rotation, your pelvic floor is gonna open a bit more. One more breath here. And if you have the extra time, I would recommend that you just lay on your back Grab some pillows if you need it, but just open your knees out wide, put your hands on your low belly, and then breathe into your hands. And again, really imagining your pelvic floor dropping, maybe pelvic floor opening like a flower on that inhale. But whenever we're doing pelvic floor lengthening, pelvic floor relaxation, those visual cues, that visualization, I should say, is so, so important. And that tactile cueing is also really important. Okay, I hope you're feeling nice and relaxed right now. This is a great little routine to do at the end of the day after you've been sitting or standing for a long period of time, um, just to get your pelvic floor to relax a little bit. I hope you found this helpful. Please uh, go ahead and share this with a friend, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in the next one.